In September 2012, Dinka Zavude left his hometown in Ethiopia and arrived in the city of Lanzhou, capital of Gansu. The 24-year-old came with a specific goal: to learn the agricultural techniques invented in the province. China's government scholarship program has been funding his study in Lanzhou University, one of the country's leading institutions for agriculture research. <laughs> yeah. I came in September 2012 to Lanzhou here and to study ecology and、uh, agriculture development in Africa. So the advantage of、uh, uh, Lanzhou University here is many things.、Uh, one is、uh, as an international student, I am getting a lot of benefit and. Also, living in diversity uh, of uh, society, in different nation here, and also getting many technology learning in international school. Scarce water resources are a significant problem for Dinka's hometown and many other African countries, whose development of agriculture and animal husbandry has been hindered. By constant droughts and the expansion of deserts. In Gansu, where similar conditions have created problems in the past, effective measures have been taken to reverse desertification and improve local agricultural production. Using nylon nets to stabilize sliding sand dunes is just one creative technique that originated in Gansu and has been applied elsewhere. Scientists in Gansu have also come up with a specific farming technique that involves digging tunnels to store rainwater, which in turn helps corn crops withstand sandstorms and drought. The two techniques, as well as other methods that have proved successful in Gansu, can be used in Africa to help locals improve their agricultural yields. The first technique Dinka learned in China was film mulching. Where precious rainwater can be stored in fields, while also minimizing losses from evaporation. During his vacation home, Dinka put the technique into practice, and the result was quite satisfactory. Well, after my graduation, after my graduation is, uh, uh, I'm going back to my country and help. And also promote this、uh, this technology where I learn it here. And the other is also maybe continue after after few year I might back come back to China and get another PhD and go back to my country help my community and my government. And so that's my plan, my future、uh, until now what I have. The province began sharing agriculture techniques with Africa in 2011, when it cooperated with Kenya to expand rainwater recycling system in the country's drought-prone areas. Gansu later extended the technological support to more African countries, such as Ethiopia, Tanzania, Nigeria, Zambia, South Africa, and Ghana. As of now, Gansu has trained more than 2,000 international students in agriculture. The majority from Africa. Twenty-eight-year-old Obama David Nartak is from Ghana. He studies water and soil conservation at Lanzhou Jiao Tong University on the government scholarship program. This is Chinese、uh, government scholarship, so I applied initially. I did not know that I'll be selected or not, but hopefully I was selected and I came here. So I really thank、uh, China government for for giving this opportunity to come here to study. The university provides Nardia with advanced equipment. After spending three years in Lanzhou, he is confident about securing a career when he returns to his hometown. And I hope. If I graduate with this environmental-related course <laughs> and I get back to my country, I can do a lot of things concerning my major. 
According to the China Scholarship Council, the country received over 328,000 overseas students in 2012, with 23 percent from Africa. Educational authorities in Gansu say the province welcomes African students who are interested in agriculture techniques, and we provide them with further financial assistance.